Welcome back to another video. As you could see from the thumbnail, this is sort of a continuation for last week's video where I still talk about the Ferrari 330p4. I showed you most everything that I do during my sketching process last week, but there was a big part of the video that I just cut for time's sake, and that's using an easier angle to draw cars, namely taking away the three quarter view and lowering the camera so it's parallel with the ground. And then you only have two surfaces for the car, the front and the side, because you can't look on top of it and you don't really see below it either. So this sort of makes the process of drawing a car easier, at least in my opinion. And that's also why I like to call it a little bit cheating, but uh, let's, let's get into the video. Obviously, if you want to cheat, like I would say, this is a super easy angle. I, and I will do the same thing. Uh, let me do another sketch here. So with this one, same thing again, I'll take this distance. How many times does it fit there? And how many times does it fit there? So that's, that's the main thing. Uh, and I'm just, I'm going to make it flat. So no, I'm gonna try and make it flat. So much less 3D for it. This is the ground. Let me come here, zoom out. I'm going to say where the R, so from there to the R, that's one, all right, yeah. So then R to there, it's exactly two. And if it's not, well, it will be a little bit off. And if you go up, it's one fifth is missing, I would say. So now what I'm going to do is just center line here, I do this by eye even. There we go. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So this and this, uh, I need more distance here. But, but let's see, let's see like that. And now I know that this up to here, and I would say this was the top of it. So now I have to basically fit it in here. And this was sort of the end of my headlight. And I'm going to bottom of the car here. Yeah. Um, and I'm also, I'm, I'm using all the geometry that I see. Uh, sorry, not, not, not doing it correctly. So this was sort of the middle of my headlights. There we go. Then we have one wheel. Um, I'm also looking at the distance. So when I'm drawing, what is this distance? Approximately same as the wheel. Trying to keep those distances. All right, wheel in there. Okay, no details. Then the wheelhouse nicely wraps around it. Comes here. And here we will wrap around it as well. And this one comes here. And a nice volume there. And then here we have the air intake. The thing is, probably these headlights are very iconic and I'm not used to drawing them. So as I said, as, as I did, as you saw in the beginning when I did uh, studies of the side of the car, those three, I would, if I would want to draw this car to perfection, I would pr probably spend the day on doing studies for each and every part. Headlights, spoilers, this one is even a bit bigger, if I remember correctly. There we go. Wraps nicely around it. Something like that. Comes down like this. And this was coming a little bit from behind it. There we go. And then we have. Well, I, actually, I, I kept it lower than it should have been. I just realized that now, so the whole thing will be messed up here. Yeah. But it's okay, because I learned from it as well. 
So this will be something like this. And you can also put down the section line because then you will understand it better. And let's put down the section line here as well. And another one in the front. There we go. I have to keep this lower because I messed it up a little bit. There we go. Like that. And then this comes there. So this was much less measuring and you can see the result. It's, it is not as good, right? So that's that's why it is in there. It's also it's not a center line. But you can see that it's just not as good. Things are very much off. All right, let me speed up this part a little bit. It's just a little bit of detailing. It is really not that important for this part of the video, but I will be right back with uh, the normal speed again. So this is all wrong, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's see some issues. This should be a little bit more like this. I would say pushing that. All right, then this has to come lower. And this would be there, so push that down a bit. Mm. That's actually not that bad. I forgot about this part. That part comes there. Also, because, because it's too low, I would have to push the whole thing like that a little bit. So let me quickly do this again and this time around. I'm going to, oh, what you say? I'm going to use a gray marker to set it up. So. Now I can make all the mistakes that I want, right? I just do this. Now you can't see too much, but that's okay because I can see it. So I have to come down a little bit. And now I can be a little bit also more, as I said, this is one, this is two, this is one wheel and it comes like that. This is where the mouth, as I like to call it, starts. Could be a little bit higher. Should be quite a bit higher, actually. Okay. Then, this is where this goes. There we go. This should be the sort of the same. Okay, now this will not concentrating on all that wrapping stuff and whatnot. Here is the back wheel, which I can make a little bit even bigger. This comes here, maybe a bit too big. Doesn't matter there and it starts here and there there and there so this is lower that is a little bit higher comes up to there there we go especially now when I'm working with the marker I should be and down these, I'll, I'll bring the ground a little bit lower because I feel it's needed. This is the wheel we have on that side, and then the back wheel is probably somewhere there again. Come up with it there. As I said, this is lower, and then this angle works better as well. 
I'll check this anymore. Don't forget that. I feel like this could go in a little bit more. And then we can do that. And then this reaches out there. And then I have... There we go. I think that works better. What I forgot is this. So basically what I have to do now is mostly detail. We'll try to make it sexy. And I, I, I did change the angle of the wheel a little bit, but I feel it's okay. is just about fine. This is this you should do with one. Oof. A little bit meaner looking. And I did it there. One there, one there. But let's just not put any detail in there yet. Right, and this goes around like that. Wait, to, oh, there we go. That's perfect. I feel like that's almost, that's a perfect, I'm, I'm, it's obviously it's not a perfect line, but I'm not going to bother changing that too much now. And that is pretty much it for this video. The rest of the video I will just run at uh, three times speed because you already saw me doing this and the basic drawing is in the gray marker drawing itself. Uh, this is basically just inking, well not inking, but going over it with the fine liner. And I think the three times speed should be not too fast for you to, to see what uh, actually is happening there. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this second part to my car drawing video. Uh, this is sort of my process for all my car drawings and also when we go digital. Uh, you can see my digital process mostly in the Rust Valley Restore series, which there will be more uh, videos coming in that series as well. But I hope you did like this sort of longer format and just tell me if you'd like to see more slow versions. I always speed them up because I think it might be a bit boring to, to watch a 20 to 30 minute video as uh, I, I draw. So just tell me what you like more. But as always, if you like this video, please feel free to hit that like button. Uh, that helps out. Uh, it pushes my videos on top on the recommended list so more people can see it. So that's good. And also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram for a whole lot of car sketching, but also other sketches. And as always, wish you guys a great week and see you next time. Bye bye.